based upon the recommendation of the textbook committee, the following materials are adopted for use in the preschool classrooms. This is the uh, creative curriculum system for preschools, and this is paid uh, through step seven or the levy uh, textbook, textbook funds. Uh, item H, to extend the following food service bids for the 2012-13 school year for the following vendors. Heiner's Bakery, uh, second, this is second extension, United Dairy, first extension, U.S. Foods, uh, first extension, any and all changes to the nutrition content of any food submitted on the original bid must have new labels and specifications submitted on for August 13, 2012. <coughs> Item I, an out-of-county student transfer for the following 2012-13 school year as follows. Uh, Lincoln to Logan, uh, kindergarten. Lincoln to Cabell, fourth grade, and Lincoln to Cabell, at 10th grade. Uh, J, to extend the temporary employment of Phyllis Miller as Medicaid field specialist for 40 days, effective June 8, 2012. I remember uh, I had not uh, mentioned that one, the one night that we all had voted on Brenda uh, resignation and then we had to continue. So I had emailed you all requesting that we go ahead so we didn't get behind. So we'd started then. And uh, so she's been doing this since, uh, um, I guess, June, was it June the 8th? Mm -hmm. was her first day uh, to get that billing uh, caught up continue because at the end of the year teachers turn in a lot of billing and we didn't want a break and I know Bertie did not want a break in that funds I really to happen. Happen. Okay. and so uh, on our vacancies uh, I see a job extracurricular service position a Medicaid billing specialist for 15 hours or 15 dollars per hour not to exceed 12 hours per week mm -hmm. when does that start that will start when you all, <laughs> well, the posting came down today, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Four o'clock today. Day. And we will not be able to get that on the agenda until the 28th. And then this person, whomever this person may be, may have to have some additional training, but they're not going to be able to jump right in and get all of this Medicaid billing completed uh, through the month of July. So, um, I did not talk to Mr. Brunny to say when do you want this new person to begin. Um, and I would suspect it would not be until in July sometime. Okay. I, I just couldn't understand from this when the job began, uh -huh. whether Phillips was going to work in work for 40 days and then the school started, this person would pick it up, or there will be yeah. a certain amount of training whenever this First person is. on who gets the job. If it's a 200-day person, they're not going to come back to work. Well, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. that's More than likely, it's going to be somebody here. So they just look at it. Who be here? It's a little confusing because it's still saving school year 11-12. I think that's just a typo. Yeah. Okay. Well, all three it of them. It is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's several. They're all like it. I mean, yeah. yeah. I, that didn't bother me, but I, I just couldn't understand that particular job mm -hmm. that we run. I couldn't believe how much she piled up in there when I quit. It's unbelievable. So she's billed since the A. I don't know if she showed yeah, 154 yeah. or 134 thousand dollars, and she hasn't got it. She just wanted to get some entered, so yeah. I already would get really, happy. Yeah, I mean, I, and I, she has to make some corrections to some of it, and then it, we'll submit it. But there's a whole lot in there that hasn't even been billed. So. Does the, like June 30th, you stop that year and then start a new no, year? No, you can you just you continue it yeah, until you get it all in. And then, of course, then, you know, it recognizes when the school year starts and the dates are calibrated. But she's just trying to finish this year. Of course, the end of the year, they turn in their annuals, which, honestly, I never even learned that because I wasn't there long enough to even get it. And it's just a whole pile of things. Everybody comes in annuals, they, and we build for those. Everybody, student, all students get a, a renewed IEP annual. They review the services that these children get, determine if they need to change something, I guess, for the next year. And then 
bill for that. Mm -hmm. and all that's for you. She's so this is flexible. She's back there right now. I'm pretty sure her car's still sitting out here. <coughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? more than I can do. I'm sorry. How do you vote? How do you vote on administrative items? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Motion and a second on finance. I move. Second. Yes, motion. Or you got any comments? Or um, any? Just uh, you have any questions on invoices? Yes. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> no. no, I didn't have any um, We just mentioned that to Robin what we needed, and she immediately took care of it. Uh, the extra the explanation that you wanted. It'll be more papers to look through, but it should be clear to you the description. Actually, I probably need to try to get a hold of um, the the Weavers programmers and program that so that it would give you an object code. Say if it was instructional supplies object code, it would just say instructional supplies. Or if it was diesel fuel, it would say diesel fuel. If it was gas or electric, would that be good enough for you guys so you can have a, have an idea of, of and I think we can get a piece of Wait, you saw her. what she sent them, right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's a lot yeah. to go through. I think I could, and, and it may take me a little bit, but I think I can have this one sheet and over here, because all it's doing is just repeating. The um, vendor yeah. yeah. So if it would just say over here, this is instructional supplies, this is a, a maintenance supply, this is um, a computer, it's software, uh, it's a uh, payroll withholding deduction, you know, it's bike event, it's retirement. Would you think that got that would be you know, like pretty miscellaneous good? bus repair parts? Yes, or yeah, bus would, batteries. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. yeah, gas and oil, tires, sure. um, and I think that would be pretty beneficial. After I saw that email, I thought, well, I think I could get get Harvey to fix that for us. That would be wonderful. As yeah, far as I'm mm -hmm. yeah, because you know. It would come up on the one sheet. Yeah, and then instead of yeah. instead of yeah, because all yeah. of these others. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, yeah. but I think I think you're right. I think Kim could probably. Uh -huh. You know, we may have to pay a small fee, or maybe me and Jody will have to team up on her and beat her up. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we have to team up on her and beat her up a little bit. Well, She's just, pretty good. Yeah, like Miss Miss Glover's yeah, drawing out there, uh, the, where the description says the same thing as the yeah, vendor. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, it's really is. Really be great. Yeah, really really be great. If you could learn all the vendors, but it takes a long time to learn those vendors and try to remember who they are. And you know, a lot of them I don't even know because I don't see most of this stuff, you know. Um, but I, you know, like on this this one page, I can look and I know that's all payroll vendors at three hundred seventy thousand dollars. The printout. I know that's all payroll related. This will probably eliminate a lot of questions, you know, during mm -hmm. the meeting. I would think. I, I think it would be really good if we could just do the object codes, and I know it can be with just a few little programming uh, uh, tweaks. I think it can be done. Very good. How do you vote on the finance? Yes. yes. Oh yeah. <coughs> Personnel. Do I have a motion and a second? I do. Robertson. Mm -hmm. Martin, forgot your name. Just <laughs> call me anyway. <laughs> so you call me to dinner. <laughs> um, as you can see, this is uh, quite uh, short. Um, item A, employment of short long-term substitute professional personnel for 2012-13. Uh, speech therapist uh, and then we go all the way down to item F employment of extracurricular personnel um, so first and F1 is 2012-13 F2 2012-13 um, F is F3 is for June 15th through the 22nd um, and then F4 is for 2012-13 school year and then we have some retirements and resignations in um, item G. And it's designated as to which it is at the end uh, of the dates. <coughs> Questions? How do you vote? 
his. Oh, yeah. Comment from Mrs. Byrne. I would like to uh, make a comment uh, at our RISA uh, meeting today. One of our teachers, uh, Miss Jessica Coaster from Midway, was recognized as um, the RISA II Exemplary Teaching uh, Teacher uh, this year. We, we had someone last year as well. Uh, it's for um, exemplary teaching techniques. And uh, so that was, you know, quite an honor uh, for her. And, uh, you know, they uh, presented her with a check for $601.07. <laughs> that is based <laughs> on... <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you why it's that amount. Uh, each winner is compensated in the amount equivalent to two days' pay for the highest paid teacher in the RISA. So, well, that's, nice. that's, nice. they, uh, that's how they figure it out. I can. <laughs> I do it every year. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. But I did want to uh, let you know about that. We will be uh, recognizing her sometime during the year. So, um, not with any money, though. <laughs> she got that today. Um, uh, Mr. McKiff and I met with um, Mr. Uh, Ferguson, Dave Ferguson, um, Marie Prezioso, um, Ed McDevitt, and Dallas Blankenship. And they would like to, uh, Mr. Ferguson would like to have a uh, date for a work session uh, with the board um, first week of July. Set some timelines and the finalize the project projects. for the bond referendum. So we need to look at your calendars and get that finalized. Well, did they have a date that they prefer? Did he? His, his calendar is wide open. Okay. So he, he, he would prefer that it be the first week of July. We already have a board meeting on July. Second. 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 Are you saying like from July the first to two, three, five, six? Two, three, five, six. You have a regular meeting on the second. The fourth is of course a holiday. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So we're having a meeting on Monday. Yeah, we have to meet that day to organize your year. Mr. Cowster told me he was available through the day, and I can't really speak for him right now, but he told me that daytime meetings weren't going to be a problem for him. So I guess this group will have to set the day to time. We have a regular meeting on July the 2nd. But it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, if he gets this information, just pick it up for him. Well, we want to put a calendar when we meet again next Thursday. Yeah. We don't meet the week after that, do we? No, you mean in July? Yes. We meet on the 17th. That's right. So the next week we're off. Yeah. Probably the sooner we get Mr. Ferguson our dates, he's put it on his calendar. I mean, I know he says he's open now, but. Because the next big step, of course, is to, to have SBA come down and speak. To I'm just kind of curious as to why it has to be during the week of the 4th of July. Well, that, was, that benefited him, I guess, and what, what's available to him. And looking at timelines of what needs to happen between now and September 1st, if we're going to look at that, a December 15th special uh, later on. Well, I mean, but if we're meeting on Monday, so you're going to meet on Monday, and Wednesday's the 4th of July, it's like an odd week, that, and the next week we're not meeting at all. Is it 
so urgent we couldn't meet the next week. I was wondering. I'd like to contact you and see. Uh, what board meetings do we have scheduled in July? Do we have them scheduled? We actually haven't voted on our meeting schedule, but it's right preliminarily it's the second and the seventeenth. Both at six o'clock. So you prefer to look at the second one in July? Mm -hmm. I would prefer the second one. It just seems to me like being the fourth of July, but I can't, I can't imagine anybody would want to do to try to cram that in there. Well, I think he was looking at his schedule and he was, he was aware Unless he's of the SBA to... schedule in terms of, you know, uh, their availability. But we're having no, we need to move ahead. We're ha but we're having a work session, which means we're not going to be in, we're taking any action. So we can discuss all we want to, but it's not like we're going to say we're going to do this on a given day at that meeting. So it's not going to happen apparently until the very soon as the 17th when we meet again. And it doesn't, we can meet any day that we can just start to me. I do want to throw this in. I, I think I've mentioned it uh, before. The uh, personnel timelines have changed. And uh, we talked about, you know, it used to be five days prior to the first instructional school day, you couldn't move someone. Now, They've changed it and it's 20 days prior to. So there might be a possibility that I may ask for another board meeting in July, just depending on how these people start moving. And the more vacancy postings, the higher that we have, the better. Uh -huh. Because I just want to you know, not get caught if, if we can help. You know. uh, you know, not, so, you know, July is. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be fine. Exactly. If not, we could pick one of these other days, right? Yeah. 